Hey everybody, it's Paul from Alexander Knife Sharpening. And <clears throat> quick video today. Um, some of you know I accidentally broke my King to microscope the other day. And I ordered two new ones. I ordered a newer Kanda, which is a higher definition, and it was not expensive. I got it for like 30 bucks. It was actually cheaper than the lesser definition one. And then I'm going to show you another one that I got, which is a Tomlov. Now, I made some phone calls and I talked to some people that are in the industry of making digital microscopes and okay so i talked to uh, a guy who is in the industry who sold digital microscopes in fact he had uh, the very first digital microscope company in the united states and what he told me was that unfortunately a lot of us know this there is a ton of junk out on the market um, most of them are coming from the same place in China, and most of them <clears throat> are using the same chips inside of them. And that included even some higher-end companies' uh, microscopes. And there's some out there, you guys know, if you've ever looked at them, you can look at like a dyno light. And, you know, you're talking, other than the dyno light, light version which is their cheapest microscope that's a hundred bucks once you get beyond that one you're talking 500 up to several thousand dollars um he told me the very best microscopes have sony chips in them that's the best chip out there right now and uh, a lot of you know i used to do a lot of photography sony cameras so i do know sony chips are fantastic at focusing auto focusing definition, detail, contrast. So I took his advice. I searched for a microscope that used a Sony chip. And that's what the Tomlov has. So I'm going to show you the Kanda real quick. So the Kanda looks great. I have it set up on my Chromebook right here. And I'll just uh, show you, you know, you guys have seen before, I love just kind of holding the lens right up against it and so there it is right there and i'm gonna just do a little focusing here and that's a great picture you know that looks really good now the downside is i can't digitally zoom this in any but honestly it's a fantastic picture much improved over the older version i had and it looks great and I could get by totally with this, no problem. Uh, and this one, you know, is I got it for 30. It probably normally retailed for about 40 bucks on Amazon. And I'm very happy with that. Now to take a picture for me on this one, since it's not hooked to a phone. Now, if I hook it to a phone, I can digitally uh, zoom in and zoom out. I've never found that to be a great feature on these. Uh, but the pit, being able to take a picture is nice. But on my uh, Chromebook, all I have to do, I can hit this and I have it on a delay. So I got a 10 second delay there. That gives me a chance to get the uh, knife set up the way I want it. And it took a picture. Now what's nice about that is I can look at the picture. And then if I want to zoom in. I can zoom in on the picture and that shows me a lot more because this is, I forget how many, I think it might've been 25 megapixels. Um, I'll get you the exact, I forget exactly. Um, actually it might've been five megapixels. Uh, hold on, let me see. Do I have it over here? Let me see if I have the king to book over here. It's, ah, it's eight megapixels. That's what this says, eight megapixels. So not bad, eight megapixels. Now, let me show you the new one. And <clears throat> I was a little on the fence um, whether I wanted to use this kind because the monitor is attached to the microscope. And I went one step further and I ordered this big giant like arm. It's a, it's actually, 
and it and it came from the same company, but it's actually well, it showed up as a microphone arm, but it fits perfectly for the digital microscope. Now, this baby is twenty five megapixels. The camera lens, the uh, screen's adjustable, as you can see, it does turn and tilt. The uh, LED is adjustable right here. The camera lens itself actually has a polarizing filter on it. Uh, or I'm sorry, not a polarizing, it has a UV filter, but a polarizing filter, you could get one because it's a 30 millimeter threaded lens cap on here. They do sell a wide angle for this. And inside, it has a shroud that you can attach to cut down on reflections. And I thought, wow, that could be awesome for knives. And the really great thing is it has a Sony chip. And let me kind of tilt this for you guys so you guys get a good shot of the lens of the, or I'm sorry, of the, let me get it here on the camera. And let me show you how amazing this looks. And there we go. There it is. Look at that. I mean, that is just incredible. And look at this. Watch this digital zoom. So I can zoom it in. Oh, I changed the light. Oh, I shut the light off by accident. Okay, watch this. Look, look at that. You can actually see the burr. Look at that. And watch this digital zoom. Look at that. It's still in focus. We're up to two times there. It's it's now it's a little bit off there, but I could refocus that. But look at that. At like 1.4, we didn't lose. It didn't get all grainy and terrible looking like happens many times. And that looks great. I mean, there's no reflection. It is just beautiful. So that, and, and I can take a picture just by hitting this OK button. And it also has a handheld remote, which is really nice. So I can use a handheld remote. So I think I'm going to be thrilled with this. Now, this wasn't, uh, this wasn't cheap, but it didn't break the bank. I got it for 160 bucks. So, I mean, for 160 bucks and a Sony chips inside there, it's 25 megapixels. It records the picture to an SD card. It has an HDMI out, so I could even send it to a, a larger screen. If I wanted to put a high-definition television or computer monitor in here somewhere, I could be looking at it on there. Um, really cool. It has its own uh, battery power in here, so it will. Um, it is powered by itself. So I can actually unplug. This is plugged. This this cord you see that isn't necessary. You can see it will run for. Um, on its own uh, battery power. I I don't remember what they said how long. I have to look it up. Um, but that's pretty awesome too. So you could actually use this if you didn't have power somewhere. And that, I mean, that's just, that's, a, that's an absolutely gorgeous picture. I hope you guys can see that uh, real well. I hope that's showing up on the video. And I can actually, I'll probably throw some of the stills in so you can see some of the shots how impressive that is. So that's the two new um, digital microscopes. I'll probably be keeping both of them, but I'm sure this is going to become uh, the new favorite. That just looks great. It, uh, the screen also is a specialized screen to give you like really fantastic color rendition. Um, and it's really a great digital microscope. And let me just show you, uh, you know, because some of you might want to know just like, well, what other kind of stuff did it come with? So I, I bought that shop stand for it, but I'm going to show you real quick here. The This is the actual microscope stand that it came with, which is actually pretty nice. And it came with, uh, so this has even more lights. They are adjustable with a slide of your finger on here. The uh, stand is completely uh, adjustable, so I can move the microscope up and down this way. And it also came 
with a microscope slide illuminator if you wanted to bottom illuminate something. And same thing, it's adjustable by touch um, and plugs in with a uh, USB cable there on the side. And it's nice and heavy. It's well, it's got a nice anodized finish on it. Um, really, really, really nice microscope all around for uh, around $160. And I will, uh, I'll put the link in there uh, if you guys are interested in that. Um, if you don't mind spending a little bit of more money, I think you'd be really, really thrilled with it because I'm already blown away with the, the quality. Uh, but I'm going to keep both of them. I'm going to keep my Kanda and I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep the Tomlov too because I could use them, I can use them both. And I'm hard on these things and sometimes something breaks in the shop and it's always nice to have a backup. Um, so uh so that's it for now that's the uh two new microscopes and uh if i have more to add to it i'll uh, i can tell you more about them both later um but that's it for now have a, a great night everybody i have a lot of sharpening to do unfortunately um i'm going to be busy i got we have a holiday veterans days coming up the end of the week and whenever i get a holiday for some reason a lot of people come and drop off stuff and you can see i actually filled all of my containers today so all of these down here on the floor are filled and i have axes and gardening gear that came in and all of these over here are filled i think i might have one or two that are open uh, so i have a lot of sharpening to do the next couple of days and also because i'm taking veterans day off so um i better uh end this now and and actually get get to some sharpening Talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the uh, quick video on the new microscopes. Have a good one.